Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. For this video, I'm going to give you a little tutorial on how to use the all-new Struggleville.net forum. It is not actually open to the public just yet. We're planning on making it live on Monday. But I want to show you all the features. People who have been on other forums in the past or other message boards probably know 99% of what I'm going to go over here. But for people who are less comfortable or have not been on a forum before, I just wanted to give you kind of a little rundown of what we got going on here and where to do everything. Now, the template I started with, with the forum, said that it was mobile friendly and it turned out not to be. So a lot of pages I had to customize myself so that they would appear on phones correctly. So. If you're viewing the forum on a phone, it is going to look a little bit different and some features might not be available or maybe a little bit more difficult to use because they really weren't intended to be done on a phone. So that's the one thing. But we're going to go desktop version. Here, as you can see, I'm not logged in or anything. So we're going to register a new account. First thing you have is the beautiful Copa. If you... Um, Pay attention to YouTube news and stuff. It's basically has to do with kids under 13. So you have to put in your birth date. If you are under 13, you are not allowed to use the forum. That's not my actual birth date, if you're wondering. Continue with registration. Now a little agreement thing saying no copyright materials, no illegal behavior. We are recording your IP address in case you do anything, uh, I don't know, bad. <laughs> so next we got the registration form. Let's fill that out. So we put in a username, a password, the email address. I'm hoping it actually works. Uh, that's the email I'm using for the form itself. It may not let me use the same one. If you were referred by a user, you can enter that in here. So like that is my account. Let's say I was the refer have to verify that you are a human. Uh-oh. Bicycles. I hate these things. Spammers. Making life difficult on the rest of us. So then you'll have a random security question. Here is, our tool deals are amazing. What are our tool deals? The answer is amazing. So we have that. Receive emails from administrators. Hide your email address from others. I wish I could have changed these defaults, but I do not know how to. So we want to hide our email address from others. We want to receive private messages in case someone has something uh, splendid to tell us. Uh, alert me with a notice when I receive a private message. Yes, alert me by email. We don't want that. Hide me from the who's online. We don't care. Default subscription mode is do not subscribe. And we can change time zone settings. We're all set. Time to submit the registration. And it says, thank you for registering on the Struggleville Forum. To complete your registration, you must go to your email. You have to activate, so let's do that. The email we received, and we have the little activate registration link, which we can click there. And your account has successfully been activated. And we're refreshed. You can see we're logged in. So let's go through all the stuff on the main homepage of the forum. The logo in the upper left corner will take you to the Struggleville home page with all our deals. So will this, well, this latest deals page actually brings you to the deals category on the main portion of the site. So you can see the latest posted deals. Forum home brings you to this page you're looking at right here. Strugglers, that is all the members. And here you can see all of the different accounts that have been created so far. You can see how many posts they've created how many threads they've created, when they joined, when they last visited. You can search if you have to for any reason. So there's that. We do have a forum search. So if you're looking for anything specific, maybe a deal from Lowe's or a deal on DeWalt stuff, you can just look for, type one of those in, DeWalt. You can get posts by a specific user. You can break it down to only certain forums. We can play around with that. Now we go to the personalized portion 
First we have your inbox for the private messages. Obviously there are no private messages on this account, but you can message other people. We have your user CP, which stands for control panel. This is where all the goodies are. See your account summary, account name, how many posts, reputation points. We'll get to a little bit later, but other uh, users can add to your reputation if they like uh, what you're posting. The email address, which again, we're logged into this account, so that's why it's showing it here. Uh, when you registered, user groups we don't use. Uh, well, it comes up as registered, I guess, otherwise you'd be a guest. It shows how many people you have referred, and we also have your referral link. Now, we may in the future do giveaways that are based on to how many people you have referred to the forum. So uh, if you do plan on telling people about it or want friends to join or anything, give them the link because it may come into play with a future giveaway. I haven't fully decided, but just so you have a heads up. Okay, so then we'll go into the left side panel. The user CP home, which is what you're looking at. Oh, we also have this personal notepad. You can just type stuff, and if you want to keep notes in there, it's not a big deal. So if you want to compose a new private message to another member, you have your inbox, your unread, your sent messages. You can save drafts. You can delete them. I'm not real sure on the tracking thing. I think it can give you a notification if a message has been read by the other person or not. And we can do folders. Now we go to the profile. You can change your email address, change your date of birth. You can enter a website URL. You can also enter social media, but we have a separate place for that, but you could put a social media URL there. And you can have a, an away message if you are not around, although I don't know if that's really uh, something anyone's going to ever need or be practical. Now, there are a couple of things that unlock as you create more posts. So for this account, it's either set at five posts or 10 posts. You can then enter a bio and you can enter more information about yourself. And just the profile fields expand. You do get a little bit more. So we can change the password, change the email, change your avatar. So here, this is the default, but you can put anything in that's 100 by 100 pixels and up to 25 KB. You can also use one of these Gravatar things. But you can just pick any file on your computer. Obviously, we uh no adult content anywhere on the forum, so you know mildly risque. Okay, look, if it can be on Instagram, it's okay. Well we'll that's the official rules. If Instagram would allow it, then we'll allow it. Because we have to be, you know, advertiser friendly. Because someone's gotta pay the bills. <laughs> so we got that, then we got the edit options, which is mostly what you saw in the um Registration, this whole top part, I think, is the exact same thing word for word on the registration. Uh, the time thing we talked about, the displays. I don't even think there is another. Oh, there is another display. Well, anyway, form options, thread view options. We really don't want to play with any of that or mess around with it. You could end up with uh, a really goofy looking thing going on. Next, we have the miscellaneous. We have group memberships. I haven't created any groups, so... It's not going to do anything. You have a buddy list. You can add people to your buddy list. Manage attachments. If you had a post where you attached a picture, I think a picture is the only thing that's allowed. But if you attach pictures, you can see all your attachments here. Your saved drafts, that's for posts that you made. If you didn't complete it and just saved it as a draft. You can subscribe to specific threads. So here it would show all the threads you're subscribed to and if there's any new posts, things of that nature. Here's another thing where you can subscribe to a forum. Instead of so like the thread is the individual topic. Like if I said uh, there was a deal on this DeWalt uh, item, that would be a thread. Or tool deals as a global category, That's um, that would be a forum. So if that makes sense, it's a step up. Next, we got social sites. This does not work well at all on mobile devices. So you got to most likely do any of these edits on a desktop. They also don't appear in the profile on um, mobile devices. But you can see it has all the links, and you can just enter in any of these social medias. You submit it. 
And this is another thing that will unlock as you get more posts. Um, actually, I think this one unlocks if you just put anything in one of the fields. Let's put, that's my email address, or my Twitter, but let's put fake Twitter and just see what it does. So we submit that. Social sites are updated. And then we go to view profile, which is down at the bottom. And here's your social sites. But once we unlock the bio, it would go over here. And you can see there's a send PM button. There's a add reputation points. Oh, you probably can't do it to yourself. Yeah, you cannot add your own reputation. So that is the user control panel. And then obviously the other thing we have is log out. So then if we go to the footer, again, this first link goes to the home page of the website. Here we have forum stats, which would be kind of interesting. Another thing we'll utilize for future giveaways. But we can see there's 25 total posts. Obviously, it's not open yet. That's all me. Threads, 23 threads, six total members. We have the newest member, the percentage of members who have posted, the top poster, most popular post or most popular forum, the top referrer. I now have two referrals of myself. I'm going to delete these accounts before we open things up. And just all these different you see most popular threads, most viewed threads. Now we also have the portal, which is kind of cool. It's like the latest activity on the forum. So I created some of these posts just so the thing wasn't completely empty when we go live to everybody else. So you can see just a list of all the latest things that, we, that I added just in preparation. We also have a help, which is just a bunch of different help documents, although I don't find them that helpful. They're all just default to what this thing came with. I didn't edit any of those, maybe in the future if we get time. And then we have a contact form if for any reason you need to contact me directly. But the better option would be just to PM me on the forum, or um, yeah, that'd probably be best. Now, if we go, let's just go to the forum home because it's the easiest. The right sidebar, when you're logged in, you see this. shows when you last visited. This would have your avatar if you changed it to something else. You'd see how many new announcements there are, new threads, new posts. And then you can see, or you can go to links that show those. And add here, it's just a little placeholder. It will be an actual ad uh, in the future. Top posters for the week. This is set to be the top five, but there's only been two accounts to make a post. So it'll show how many posts they've created and who are the top posters for the week. And then we also have the latest threads that have been created. So that's your right sidebar. Going right down the center, you'll have the little navigational tree here that is only available on desktop. It doesn't show up on mobile, but you'll see more of that here in a second. Our current deal categories, which this is obviously a work in progress, we'll just see um, how much people use it. And if I end up seeing a bunch of posts of a certain type, we may create another forum just for that. But for now, we for, the first heading is amazing deals. We have on topic deals because I didn't know how else to word it. And that's tools, automotive, home improvement, sports and outdoors, and tech deals. So all the stuff that we post on the main page. Now, for my use, it'll probably be your mileage may vary deals. That will be my post in this forum because all the other stuff is what I post on the main site. Your mileage may vary means that it's not available online. It's only available in store and it's subject to the store having the item in stock and at that same price because different stores will have different prices. So um, I, f I find those kind of annoying. I don't want to alert, you know, uh, we're over 2,000 people that get post notifications now whenever I post a deal. And if one Walmart store in all of America has this item for this price, I hate to notify all those people for that. So uh, your mileage may vary deals will be in there. It will be at your own uh, discretion to check that. But also other people who want to post in this forum, obviously that's encouraged. That's the whole point of having the forum. So we can see the format that I'm going for here. The store, retailer, website, where the deal is at, what the deal is, the price, a model number, and then obviously, all, as we were just mentioning, all mine are, your mileage may vary. Now, yours doesn't have to be. That's just the format that I'm having. Uh, if you post a tool-related deal, and it's a deal I really like, and I want to put it on the main site, then uh, I'll copy that information, create its own post, and then at the top, if you've seen before on the website, you know, we say, thanks to... 
you know, so-and-so for giving us a heads up on this deal. We'll do the same thing for the forum, but then we'll include a link to your profile page on the forum. So, you know, you can get a little credit there. And it's also beneficial if you do have your social media accounts listed in your profile. Hey, I have no problem with people who are helping out getting a little extra benefits out of it. So if you have your Twitter or your YouTube in there, um, you know, happy to help, you know. You help, I help. It's all just a collective uh agreement here and then we have the off-topic deals which will be everything else that doesn't fit into these categories and I'll probably have more stuff in there because they're things that I don't personally post on the website so for instance uh, Monica shared with me some Ibotta deals where an item was free if you just used Ibotta and um, you know we'll be posting things like that in that forum next one we have is shop talk anything shop related garage projects you're working on you can see i added a reader's rides and so far it's just pictures of my car but i want to see pictures of your guys's cars whether it's a classic that's fixed up a jacked up truck some beater that's falling apart and it's you know got one leg it or one wheel in the junkyard already uh you know i don't really care i just want to see what everyone's driving see what you're working on what projects you got we talked about the harbor freight recalls made a post for that and we got new tool day so if you bought a tool, if you found a good deal and took advantage of it, share uh, the details, the pictures of what you got. I think it's kind of fun just to, to see what people are buying and what they think of it. So I guess I should go over the forum rules at the top of each thing. Uh, we're going to do some forum rewards. So when you sign up, you get these different monikers you get these different levels and here mine just says administrator but for anyone else or yeah for anyone else it'll say one of these so at 1 to 49 posts you get no reward at 50 to 149 you get a struggleville sticker at the seasoned level which is 150 to 399 you will get the logo magnet it's a little like business card style magnet at 400 to 749 you get the conversion chart magnet which is like the size of a full envelope it's it's pretty large and it's got the conversion chart from metric to sae once you get to 750 posts i'll send you a t-shirt and for people who get over 2,000 posts i'm going to send you a struggleville hammer now i only have a couple of these hammers so and i bought them on a site that was just running a promotion. I don't think I can even get them anymore. It's engraved in the side. It says struggleville.net tool deal champion. And I'm keeping one for myself. So I only have a couple others left. Uh, anyway, that can change. And I might have to change it to something else. Or I might have to substitute it. Or maybe I can get more hammers. I don't know. And I don't know if anyone's going to get to 2,000 posts. Or how long that could take. So, But just a heads up on that. Now, once you reach a level, I'm not going to get any notification. I'm not going to know that, hey, this person reached this. So send me a PM. In the PM, put uh, either the level you reach or the prize you're, you're getting. Make sure to include your name and your address, and I'll get your prize sent out to you. Now, the rules. Very simple, but this is very important. No insulting or attacking other members. This only applies to other members. You can be as vicious and mean as you want to non-members. So if they're... Not signed up? Say whatever the hell you want. I don't care. <laughs> now here's the trick. If you don't know if they're a member or not, you might have to mind your P's and Q's, which I don't even know if that applies in this particular discussion. Anyway, so no discussion of illegal activity. That's a rule with my host that I have to, you know, the web host. Uh, no posting about or linking to competitor sites. I'm mostly talking about other deal sites. So, you know, obviously other deal sites exist. And if people go to those sites instead of going to my site, then that takes food out of my mouth. I certainly did not create this forum so that I could uh, be poorer than I already am. So uh, no doing that. And then we also have a help form that we'll get to, and you can PM me if you need any help. So here's that little navigational tree I was telling you about. You can just use the back button on your browser, but clicking on any of these also brings you back. So we got the shop talk. Next, I created a YouTube section because obviously I'm big into YouTube. Not big on YouTube, but you know I use it a lot. <laughs> and, um, you know, if you have your own YouTube channel, if you post a video that's related to tools, home improvement and stuff, feel free to share it with people here. Uh, look, if that gets a little out of control, like 
you know, there's just way too many posts or something. We might have to curtail that a little bit. Cur- curtail? Is that how you say it? Um, but for now, like, I'm not worried about it. So if, if you make a video, feel free to share it. You can embed it right in your post. We'll get into all the different post things, but you can do it just like that. Then people can share it or they can subscribe to your channel right through the forum. So it's a good way maybe to, um, you know, share your videos. Now, one thing I would appreciate if you're, if you're going to do a video and you know, you're going to post it on the forum, Hey, maybe, you know, throw out the forum saying, Hey, this is posted here too. And you can watch my other videos or, you know, that would be kind of you. (laughs) Everything else, everything else. We're calling it hiding from the wife, anything off topic, keep it civil. So it's exactly what you think. Post anything you want. I don't care. As long as we're following the other rules. So we got, I put, what are you listening to? Some music stuff. There was a fight in the Home Depot parking lot. It was a video on Twitter. That was pretty funny. We got the T-Rex game. Seriously, you should go play the T-Rex game. So it actually works on a phone too. So if you hit the space bar, he starts running. And then every time you hit the space bar, he jumps. You can hear it has sound too. I don't know if Mike is catching it up or catching that. Okay, I won't keep playing. But here's the thing. Take a screenshot of your high score and post it as a reply, and I will keep my score as well as whoever has the high score uh, at the time here. You you get bragging rights. That's all you're getting. You're not going to get a prize. But let's see if we can go back to hiding to the wife. I don't know. I thought that was cool. And then we got a couple different games. I'll try and look up other forum games that we can play, but continue the story game where you just add a line. And then linked words is like, you, everyone posts two words, so jelly donut. And the next person puts a donut hole. And the next person puts hole. What's the second word that goes with hole? I don't know. But anyway, you just keep going out. I'm, I'm apparently not very good at the game. So that's the everything else category. And last for now, we have the forum help category. So uh, the first one is report any bugs that you see. And again... Most of them are going to be related to using phones. The only thing I know right now that isn't working is the social sites thing we talked about earlier. Everything I've tested out and I've hours and hours of playing with different things and fiddling with things. I think everything's working otherwise, but obviously I'm missing stuff. Something's going to come up. Someone's going to click on a button that I never thought to click on or do something. So you can leave it right there. I'll do my best to fix it. Look, I'm a one-man show, and I don't know about programming, so all of this is just flying by the seat of my pants, figuring it out as I go along. Uh, I'm happy with the basic functions of the forum working. Maybe some extra stuff won't be perfect, but I think we're doing pretty good so far. So we have instructions on how to embed a tweet in a post using my codes. We'll come back to that in one second how to post an Amazon product box if you're sharing something from Amazon, adding pictures to posts, and embed Instagram post in forum post. So if we look at the my codes, which some of those other things are using my codes, these are all the different ways to format your post. So if you are creating a new thread or a reply, like there's the reply button here, you can wrap your text in any of these different codes to get the different effects. So if you were to type what is that bracket b bracket text bracket slash b bracket then you'd get bold text italicized underlined strike through here you can change the size of your font of the text this one shows you the different font face the style of font i'm not sure what all the possibilities are it's not something uh, i cared too much about you can change the color either typing in the color or actually using the hex code a little more advanced. You can align your text. Justified, you'd notice more if it was like a long paragraph justified text like newspapers. Um, the code, if you want these code boxes like you're seeing, this is messed up. It didn't like um, me doing this. I tried a couple times and I kept doing that. Anyways, you type code just like this and then you end it with this code tag. It just keeps trying to turn it into the box instead of letting me do it. Images. You have the URL to the image there and post it. Also, if you want to do a link, here we just link that text. This style actually lets you change what the text is, but it still links to the same URL. 
We can create lists. You can create a ordered list. This would be called an unordered list so because it's just bullet points. This is numbered, so it's an ordered list. Here's that Instagram post to embed an Instagram. So you just use Insta. And then this is the link to the post on Instagram. And again, it has all sorts of stuff with the automatic embed. You can view the profile. You can view more from that person and everything. So it's kind of neat. Same style with Twitter. It's a tweet I made just for this example. And it embeds there. The Amazon product box. This is the ASIN number. So you find that in an Amazon URL. It'll look just like that. Or if you scroll about halfway down an Amazon page under their um, like the specific details of the item, one of the boxes will say ASIN and you can paste it there. And then it gives you the picture with the title and the current price, which is all kind of nice. Now a couple of these... I created custom so we can do more like the Amazon one, the Twitter one, and the Instagram ones are all ones that I created. So as time progresses, we may find, um, you know, other things that are useful that we can create. So um, let me show you at the, the bottom of any thread. You have a quick reply. So you could type blah, 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 blah there. As you get more posts, you can add a signature. And this is my signature. That is under your profile also. And it created a little link. So new members won't get that option just yet. Like if we wanted to. These are great short codes. They're actually called my codes. My codes. So you post the reply. Bam! There it is. And that's a quick reply. If you want to do all this formatting stuff, it is a little bit better to use the reply in the upper right corner of the thread. So here we're at the top of the thread, you have new reply, and this brings you the full page. So you can put a post icon if you wanted. We have all these different text things. So if you didn't want to write out the code, you can bold your text, italicize, underline, strike through, all those justified things. Uh, your font name, which I guess these are all the options font size, change the color. This one is important if you do the Instagram tag, like I just bolded this text right here. So if this was your link to Instagram and it was bold, then the tag's not going to work. So you have to highlight it and then remove the formatting. Horizontal rule is just a line. If you want to insert an image, you can put the URL to the image here. And you can if you want, put the width and height, but you don't have to. Another way to insert an image is using image imager, I-M-G-U-R, hang on. This is I-M-G-U-R.com. You would click New Post, and then open up the, choose a file on your computer, or drag a file here. And then, uh, well, let's do it real quick. Well, we don't have to do it. Another tutorial for another day. You can also add an attachment down here, but it's not as clean of a way to do it, and it probably won't load as fast, so I kind of prefer the uh, URL or the imager one. Uh, enter an email, no one's going to do that. If you want to link text, so let's say we want to create a link out of that, and then you just put in the URL, so like, and then you see it created a link now. If you need to take off that link, Again, if you're doing Instagram or a Twitter uh, short code, my code, it'll probably give you a link when you post it, paste it here. So if you highlight it and click this broken link, that'll take that off and you'll need to do that for it to work. We can embed videos. YouTube is the only one that I've used so far, but you just paste the URL for the YouTube video and it'll automatically embed it there. Obviously, we have different smileys your list that we talked about, that code button, we have the PHP button, which I don't think anyone's going to use. You can insert a quote, maximize, and view the source, which those, again, I don't think you'll ever be using. Now, if we go back, another thing we can do at the bottom of anyone's post, we have a couple of icons at the bottom. We can send them a user uh, private message. You can check out their website. 
you can search all posts or find all posts by that user so it'll just come up as a big list and here's where you can add reputation so if someone posted a deal and you thought it was really good look we want to encourage more of those good deals right want it to be as fruitful as possible so you click on that little link there you can give positive one reputation you can give a reason if you want that was me testing it i took i took off you could give people negative rep because i thought ah that's you know hurt people's feelings or something and, you know why so you can put a reason if you want but you don't have to put a reason you do that and bam so there's your reputation points you can add here we can quote a message and here you can multi quote So when we click on that, you can see, well, this is a bad option to do that with because it's a way too long of a post. Let me show you a more reasonable post. So here's the Craftsman stuff, and this post, this uh, reply was test reply. So let's quote this reply, and you can see the quote there. Now. So you can type below, and then when you post it, you can see that this person was quoting this. See, so this way you know who they're responding to. Like this guy was responding to this guy. Now that's how you reply to people, but if you wanted to create your own, let's say we had a deal then you would post a new thread into the title tutorial thread post this is my amazing deal and then we can preview the post if we'd like so we can see what it will look like and if we want to make any edits I want to add an edit and a heart Bam. Oh. And if we want a little icon next to it, okay, we can do a thumbs up. We'll preview it again. Oh, yeah, that's so much better. I love that. That looks great. Okay, post. Bam. There it is. And if we go to on topic deals, you can see because there's no avatar, it just has the first letter of the person's uh, name. But anyway. There it is. Now also we have all these different little icons which are kind of good to know. If you have a filled in green box, that means it's a new post that you haven't seen since the last time you were on the forum. This little icon is post contained by you. It'll be the same little paper with the corner bent, but not bright, kind of dimmed or a little transparent, I guess. I don't know. Uh, if there are no new posts, if it's something you've already read, like this one up here, Hot just means it has a lot of views. If it gets a lot of views, it'll turn hot. And that's new, hot, none. And then if I lock or close a forum or a thread. I think that's about it, guys. I know it's got a little bit long. I might break it down and do shorter tutorial videos on very specific tasks. We'll just see how things go. As, as difficult as it was creating the whole damn thing, I think uh, uh, attracting people to it and using it and actually getting it as, you know, as a thing... A community is actually the hard part. Is This was the, actually the easy part, although it doesn't seem so at the time. So, there it is, guys. I hope you guys like it. I hope people get use out of it. I think it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed putting it together, and um, we'll see how it goes and where it goes from here. So, Monday, if you're watching this right when I get it posted, the goal is Monday. I'm going to post a few more things, and I'm going to try and create errors to see if anything else needs to get fixed. So, thanks for watching, guys. Give the video a like, subscribe for a nice subscriber, and I'll see you guys next time.